The IMSC mission, along with missionaries serving in many Ukrainian cities, have been the answer for tens of thousands of refugees. The mission team did not leave people in need until the last need was met. The team of the Northern Region serves migrants who came to the Odessa region and served there with their families. The team of the Central Region in Alexandria is actively involved in the evacuation and accepting of refugees, helping them to settle into a new place. Since the beginning of the war, the southwestern team in the town of Berdichev has been organizing an evacuation for all those who decided to go to the border. Imasi also supports many churches in the Mykolaiv, Kirovohrad, Odessa, Zhytomyr, Kiev, Cherkasse, and Donetsk regions. The mission maintains an orphanage on a regular basis in Znamenka as well as family-type orphanages, socially disadvantaged families, and children with disabilities. I also want to say that this is very nice that this mission never forgets us disabled people. The general need for food, clothing, and finances is only growing. That is why the humanitarian department of the Embassy Mission works 24 hours a day seven days a week. Our team carefully collects and packs things in containers and sends them to Ukraine. To date, 135 tons of humanitarian aid have been delivered to Ukraine together with the Washington State Brotherhood. Friends, thank you that together we can do this. Organize each church a little, collect things, bring them, and together we will help. Friends, today we received a shipment from the central mission of Imasi, and we are very grateful to you. This cargo included diapers, personal hygiene products, and medicine. I want to say with all my heart that these things are simply priceless. Right now we are doing unboxing. We have here medicines, some others, aspirin, remedies for colds, remedies for fever. This is what children need. We want to distribute all these things that we received today in three directions. The first direction is of course an orphanage, which we take care of in the city of Znamenka. We are giving them diapers and some medicine. The second area in which we work is refugees who have settled in the city of Alexandria, Alexandria district and Kirovohrad region. According to unofficial data, up to 50,000 of them have already come here. People are in need, and that is why they come every day to get help from us and some medicine. Of course, most of the drugs are surgical, and we will give them to the hospital where our wounded defenders are treated. Thank you, friends. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping us. Unfortunately, the war in Ukraine has been going on for more than two months. Even where people feel safe, new explosions are beginning to be heard. People experience constant fear and anxiety for their lives. A team of missionaries in the city of Slovyansk took in refugees until the last opportunity, until local authorities began to strongly recommend the evacuation of the population. Unfortunately, Mariupol is almost level with the ground and hundreds of thousands of residents have been left homeless. The first to be forced to leave the service in the city of Mariupol were the ministers of the crisis center, Little Mother. Fortunately, they managed to evacuate all the children from the shelling. The children are currently safe in Germany. The hospice was evacuated from the city of Siversk, Donetsk region to Rivne region. During the war in the country, the IMSC mission team received more than 7,500 refugees, distributed 8,000 hot lunches and 4,000 food kits, and evacuated more than 7,000 people. During this time, almost everyone was told the gospel. We are sincerely grateful to everyone who prayerfully and financially supports the people of Ukraine. 
Thank you for the products, hygiene products, medicine, and clothes. Thank you that together we can continue to serve Ukraine in these difficult times.